Welcome back to another beautiful afternoon of landscape painting. Today I'm back out in Amish country. I'm out on Highway G. I'm outside of Ironton and you can see behind me that I have some Amish oat shocks to paint from this afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my things set up. I'm standing actually in the field of shocks. You can see that my car is over there, but I met a guy last night. He helped to make these oat shocks. And so he said that it probably wouldn't be a problem if I just set up my easel and stood out here and painted this afternoon. So, so that's where I'm at. I'm gonna be working on this painting of oat shocks. And I'm probably gonna work on this painting for two afternoons. I think that it's real hazy today and there's clouds rolling in. So I'm gonna get as far as I can today, come back on another day and finish it up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Today it's 91 degrees out. At this point, my painting is just a series of shapes, but I took time to get the values correct. And I took time to get the composition that I wanted to on the panel as well. So I'm happy with where today's work went. It's thanks so much for sticking with me and we'll pick this up on another sunny afternoon. All right, we're back here on the second day of working on this painting of Amish oat shocks. You can see I've got similar lighting as to the other day that I worked on this which was two days ago. Just take one last look at this field. What a beautiful day. Um, let's, uh, let's get right into this. Let's just start painting. Well, I've finished this painting as far as I'm going to take it out in the field anyway. Let's take a look at it. I spent a lot of time building up the shadows and the shocks and putting a lot of color into the field and into the trees and into the sky. And I'm happy with where the painting is at right now. Now these are oat shocks and the farmers cut the oats down and make bundles out of them. They stack them together in a way that makes these little shocks. And to me, these shocks are just really, they're like little sculptures sitting out in a field. You know, just like some farmers make hay bales, these farmers make the oat shocks. 
And the reason that they, they're growing oats instead of some other crop is that the horses like to eat the oats and they eat the grain off of the oats and then the rest of the plant can be used as bedding. It's kind of like bales of straw, but they're just oat shocks. They're fun little field sculptures. We'll do this again soon. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I'll see you soon. Have a good afternoon. All right.